And for those of you who just tuned in, uh, my name is Fabian, your host for KBEX TV, bringing you the annual Miss Bonanza Beauty Competition from the fantastic Lone Star Palace in downtown Benson, Texas. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. If I could take a moment here and thank you all for being so nice to me, and uh, please invite me back, okay? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. As you know, we have girls from all over the state uh, competing here today, and one of them, uh, the very, very charming Sandra Walensky, has just won Miss Bonanza Personality, ladies and gentlemen. And there she goes, ladies and gentlemen, the charming Sandra Walensky of Fallen Oaks, Texas. Oh, you don't win if you get missed personalities. Why not? Who needs personalities if you're beautiful? The bathing suit competition. <laughs> no, I really don't want to go out and play with you. I don't think so. Nice and quick. All right, and last but certainly not least, ladies and gents. Hi. <clears throat> And uh, what's your name? Katie McEvers. Of? Arensburg, Texas. Sure is a pretty sounding name. And hi to all you folks in Rensburg. And will you tell me, Katie, how tall you are? Five, seven and a half. And Miss Five, seven and a half, blonde hair and blue eyes. Uh, you're sponsored by? Ramsburg General Store. Uh, and what is your ambition? Oh, I want to be a professional model. I swear to God. And uh, what have that. you done to uh, further your ambition, Katie? What? Oh, well, I was on the home Gotta economics worry, fashion board, Gotta and worry. I was a member Gotta of the drill team I, in hopes that it gave me grace and composure. <laughs> and, uh, oh, also, I studied the, all the magazines, you know, for modeling. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the very beautiful Katie McEvers. <laughs> Very, very charming young lady. In her bio, Katie states that next to her family of Aunt oh, Isabella and Uncle Hank, she loves the farm and her oh, special I Aunt wish Laura we'd gone into Benson with her. Okay, enough for preliminaries. It's almost time for the winner. But while the judges are making their final decision, I'd like to say a word to you folks on the subject of natural resources. Now, the good Lord may have not blessed this part of the state with oil, but he sure as heck has blessed it with natural resources. I'll tell you that, because there are the greatest natural resources in the world here on this stage tonight. Yes, sir? Because they're all beautiful, they're all charming, and they're all Texans. Let's hear it for our folks. Thank you very much. And the winner is Katie McEvers, Landsberg. <laughs> replacements by Hyder, courtesy of the Benson Merchants Association. And Katie, a 60 days toys bus pass to travel to the destination of your choice. And ladies and gentlemen, you will be sure that Katie's destiny is our favorite. child of the Lord oh, I don't recall getting older but I don't feel like a child anymore and every time the looking glass calls me I see a little girl standing there showing off her back If 
Katie. Got purple soda on your mouth. <laughs> Looks sort of funny. Yes, I do. <laughs> Listen, what I do with this true away certificate? What's this, your prize? One of them. Well, Herman's gonna have to write you a ticket up. Where are you gonna go? Hollywood, in California. Hollywood? <laughs> I'm going to be the greatest movie star ever. Then you're going to be coming to see me at the drive-in on Friday night. Everyone tells me I look right, and that's all you need. Now, what do you think about that, Taylor? I think that would be really something, Katie. Hey, Herman. Katie needs a ticket written up right now. Come on. <laughs> you won it. Oh, I'll be out to you. And listen, listen, after all, all that publicity you gave us yesterday, you got a job here in the store for life. I mean. Oh, well, you sponsored me. You gave me all that time off and everything. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, you won it. Listen, I, I tell you what. I tell you what. Don't even come in to work today. Just, just take the day off. Just, just have a good time. Well, that's nice. It's just that, see, I came by here to tell you that I'm going to Hollywood. In California. You don't say. Mm -hmm. Well, well, what? what so, did you, a big Hollywood agent come, come to the audience last night? Yeah, sorta. Bye, Luann. Bye bye. Wait. See you later. Jackie Smith, height five feet seven and a half, weight 115, bust 34, waist 24, hips 34, size seven, hair light brown. Eyes blue green. Just come to Hollywood and made it real big. Well, you just wait, Hollywood. Well, I looked at all the ads in the back of all the magazines for the different schools and stuff. And at first I was thinking, you know, maybe I'd go to New York instead of Hollywood. But then they say that the air is, you know, there in New York is really bad for your skin and stuff. And besides, it's much easier for a model to get into the movies, you know, in Hollywood. And judging by the ads, well, the color school on Hollywood Boulevard looks about like the best program. She researched it all, Hank. Hmm, I know that look, Hank McGovern. Now, you just listen to me. We're all born with some natural endowment or other. Some people have a natural gift for working with numbers. Some people are naturally gifted working with their hands. Now, Katie here, she's got a natural gift of a beautiful face and body. And there's no reason she shouldn't cash in on it while she can. Oh, honey, this is gonna be an adventure. <laughs> well, Hank. You gonna say goodbye to this girl that's been like our own child to us? Won't you wish her well after she's lived in our family for 13 years? Your own flesh and blood? You won't. You won't, you stubborn mule. Come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, I'm coming, honey. for you here at the store. I'm going to miss you, Jack. I'm going to miss you, too. <laughs> you go on now. OK. <laughs> I just want to tell you goodbye. <laughs>
bags for just a minute. See, my girlfriend from Ramsburg, she was supposed to meet me here, but she didn't. Do you mind? I, I just gotta make a phone call for just a minute. Okay? Well, thank you. Broke down, he wouldn't let me use his uh, motorcycle. It's precious hog. It takes 140 pounds of pressure to turn it over. Hi, Katie. Welcome to Sin City. Hiya. Thanks. Come on, oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, it's so good to see you. You too. Now, wait, I have to tell you about this place, all right? Wallace Berry and Gloria Swanson were married in this building. Are you kidding? No. 
least that's what they told us when we rented it. Fantastic. <laughs> great. Wow. Oh, Madeline. As you can see, this apartment was built in a time when they really had a sense of what gracious living was all about. This is Urban Man, Gunther's sculpture. Hiya, Urban Man. Hey. Now, the other thing is, you have to watch the faucets, okay? This is the kitchen. Uh -huh. Have a leaky faucet in there. Okay. And over here, this is Cindy and her kid Joshua. Hi. 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 Hi, Josh. And this is your room. Madeline, isn't she a little young for that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She was married at 14, mother and widow by the time she was 15. Can you believe it? She lands here and gets pneumonia. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? You can't throw a mother with pneumonia and her kid out on the street, right? Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is the bathroom? Yeah. I'd like to wash it. Um, this is the cooning. He's my rabbit. You see, I'm a magician now. Yeah, but there's not a lot of work for magicians, you know, in Hollywood. I mean, with television and amusement parks. You know, but, I mean, I tried. Watch. Disappear. I mean, sometimes it works. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. There's no doubt in my mind. Sister, sister, come here a minute. There's no doubt in my mind that with a little hard work, we could mold you into the cutler image. And then there is no doubt at all that you'd be one of the top, 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 top girls. Oh, thank you. What does she remind you of? Why, the princess, of course. Uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> exactly. Same skin tone, same eyes. A uh, diamond blue, we call it in the trade. Mm. Grace of Monaco. Ah, yes, yes. born to the blue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, now, individualized lessons begin in the morning, 10 o'clock, so be there with pumps. And now we can get down to the financial details. How much did you think that you could pay us this time? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, this is business, my dear. No one gets anything for nothing, especially in Hollywood. Especially Texas, too, I suppose. Oh, well, how much? Oh, we'll take care of all the details, my dear. Uh, it's all in the contract. Oh. Oh, do you take traveler's checks? Aha! Voila! I have just discovered Urban man's intestine. Gunther, I'm trying to teach this poor, disadvantaged young mother. And widow. Well, widow, widow. The skill in the dramatic arts, so as to encourage her to continue her high school education. Get a fat chance. Oh, now, come on, come on. Somebody's got to get a job around here. Gunther and I are having a very bad time. Oh, people keep buying art from department stores, made by machines. There's just no room for the individual. Guess what, you guys? What? I signed with a modeling agency today, the Cutler Agency. What? Are you really? Oh, yeah. Well, what kind of models? I mean, like TV, fashion, commercials? Like who? Like Princess Grace in Monaco. I don't know. I mean, the pictures were all over the wall. You'd recognize them. You know, what? You know, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I have to go to bed now. I have to get my beauty sleep. They're going to groom me tomorrow. 
Ta-da! Ta-da! The name model means that you are an example. An example which others are meant to follow. Now, being a model means not an only upright in position, but in character. And just as important to a successful job interview is the selection of a proper hat. Long, clean strokes. Remember to the Babylonians, the fingernails were arms to the soul. The fingernails perfection is an outgrowth of our inner perfection. Cup your lips like a goldfish. Now, tomorrow, I want you all to have rich, beautiful hair, lustrous hair. You rub it all in, the egg and the whole can of beer. No one drinking the beer, of course. Mm? <laughs> it will ruin our tummies. Wonderful, Katie, wonderful. We have an appointment for you with our dear friend, Mr. Rinaldi. A job? Mm. Well... No, but he's going to do your composites for you. You'll need them for all your other jobs. We think you have a wonderful future, Katie. And we'll call you as soon as we find you a suitable job. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Good luck, dear. Bye. Bye-bye. And -bye. thank you so Take much. Care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, thank you. Kenny McCavers. Oh, no. Madeline, can we get a plumber in here? Hello? Yes, this is Madeline the Magic Lady. Will I perform for a dog's birthday party? Well, what kind of dog? Sure, I'll do it. Will there be other dogs uh, attending your dog's birthday party, Madeline? Katie McEvers. McEvers. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, I was just calling about that job I expected. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. No, I won't leave town. Right. Bye. Let's go. Let me catch it. Let me catch it. You know, I could, I could get a high school diploma, it says here. Please let me be a model before I get old. making dinner. You want a bologna sandwich? No. I just want my $400 back from the color agency if they're not going to give me any work. What? You paid them $400? Yeah. And also paid Mr. Rinaldi $400 for my pictures. Mr. Rinaldi? But I'm supposed to be the next Grace Kelly. Katie, you don't pay agents. They get a percentage of the work they get you. Gunther could have taken your pictures for $20. When you have a dream, it's not easy. Hey, guys, I heard about a party. Crashable? And Hi. Oh, 
can't see me. I know. There's no way I can pay for this party if I don't raise my prices. This is all a joke. We're not just poor. Well, you know, Mel also got to worry, you know? I mean, I'm really sorry you got ripped off. Now, I spent $400 going to Studer School, you know? And, like, they never told me that you had to get in and get a high school diploma to do it, you know? So I could have told you. And you also can't get in if you're a teenage mother, either, you know? I told them it was against the law, but they, you know, they don't care. Come on, Josh, no time. Is that a new centiphobe candidate? I don't know who you mean. The one uh, stealing your buffet. <laughs> That's my drumstick you're molesting. <laughs> well, at least you have the dignity to be properly mortified. Here, give me your hand. Give me your hand. Don't worry about it, sugar. We have all been there. Hmm? And look, not to be offensive, but there's some baggies in the kitchen. <laughs> Legs like a coat. Tilt up bottom. Yeah, and a face like an angel. Watch yourself, Katie. Have you ever been photographed in the nude? You can have me. Oh, Deborah. Oh, you did oh, crash your minute. party. Uh, you don't understand. Uh, I'm Deborah Pentoff. I'm the West Coast editor of Center Girl magazine. Here's my card. Preston is our best photographer. Katie's a model. So am I. Oh, really? I don't think I've seen you. Who are you with? The color agency. Oh. I'm between agents myself. But we'd like you to call us. And I'd like to talk to you. Will you call me? Do you mean like with no panties on or anything? Like naked? Uh, well, sweetie, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You're a pretty girl and you should use what you've got. And I'll be like all over Texas, all over the United States and everything. We have a publication of eight minutes. Oh, no. I, I don't think I, I could do that. I wear a flannel nighty to bed. But I do appreciate it. I'll do it. Oh, but, like, do you do um, ads with people, like, with their clothes on and stuff, for agencies and stuff? Uh, no, I don't. But do call. We'll chat. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Excuse me. I'm, I'm really sorry I crashed your party. Well, don't be. I'm glad you did. <laughs> bon appetit. Cutler Agency. Hello, this is Katie McEvers. It's been a long time and I need some work. They're asking me to do nude centerfold. Oh, well, Katie, we're looking for that suitable job. It's just this moment come to my attention. I mean, it's not top top, but filling in for the leading lady. I'll take it. Bye bye. The global kitchen, kitchen fixture exhibit will, will begin, begin in room C in 20 minutes. minutes. The Plumbing, Plumbing Association will meet in Room A in, in one hour. hour. The Anderson bathroom fixtures will be displayed in the main convention room in 30 minutes. the magic lady. What? Whoa. Guess what? I got a job. Yeah? No. I don't give massages. I'm not sure we put something on the electric bill. Yeah, we did. Three months ago. Oh, this is so depressing. Everybody trying to work. You know, I think I'm going to apply to real estate school, too. Katie, you're upset for not calling that lady about that centerfold. Oh, yeah? You ever seen that magazine? 
I mean, it's very artistic, you know. They gave up the little girl next door image about three years ago. I think they're beautiful. I mean, like, you know, the warm lighting, you know, and the, the gauzy nightgowns, the long fingernails. You know, I mean, it didn't hurt Burt Reynolds' career. Hello? Santa Girl Magazine. Yes, may I speak to uh, Deborah Pentoff, please? Phone call from a Katie McEvers. Who? Katie McEvers. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, put her through. Dee Pentoff here. Hi, Miss Pintoff. Um, this is Katie McEvers. Oh, yes, I was expecting your call. Uh, yeah, well, just tell me one thing. How much money? Uh, $5,000. $5,000? Uh, yeah, but now we need to see what you look like. Have you got any pictures? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, my composite that Mr. Rinaldi shot. Rinaldi, that old fossil. I didn't know he was still around. No, I mean in the nude. Uh, take some uh, Polaroids, nothing arty, and bring them in tomorrow at, uh, 3.30. I must warn you, the competition is tough. Oh, I'll be there. 3.30. I'll be there. Bye. Now, girls, I am an artist, you know. There's nothing to be ashamed of about the human body. Let no, me well, take the pictures. Now. I can do it so well. Oh, Katie! Right, see you. Oh, junk mail. What you looking at? Nude photography. Hi, Katie. Come on in. Hi. Sit down. I can't promise anything, but it looks good. Of course, you know, lots and lots of girls want this honor. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Miss Pintoff, could you just please tell me something? Like, how much does a photograph with your clothes on pay? Uh, Two thousand for an unknown such as yourself. Yes, ma'am. Well, I think I'll take that one. Oh, Katie, there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> You're going to be sought after by the most fabulous men. I know. You're afraid you'll hurt your boyfriend. But you know what? Secretly, he will love it. Love it. Yes, ma'am, but I think I'll do one with my clothes on. I'm not offering you that one. You know, you're going to have lots of work later. Shows, modeling assignments, guest appearances. Oh, really? Oh, yes, I'm going to launch you. If you get chosen, you're going to be a very lucky girl. But the competition is tough, yes? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's that again? Ah! Here she comes, folks! Missed October's dinner boat! Gonna be late, Katie. Oh, I can't, I, I can't get my roller out of my hair and my, I can't, I can't, the comb's stuck. Oh, no. Oh, my nose is crooked. Oh, I'm playing up my nose. Be careful, don't, don't, don't break it. Yes, that's fine. Good, good. See if you can get that done. Hello, Katie. Hi. Good. Well, uh, meet my assistant, George. How you doing? And Seymour, our stylist. Well, the dressing room's in there. Why don't you go get ready? We'll be right with you, okay? Mr. D. Cordiva, I need to talk to you. I think my nose is crooked. Uh, Preston, Katie, and I have to have a quick confabulation. <gasps> oh, dear. Who's been doing you lately? Oh, it's a home permanent. That's one thing you learn down on the farm. The farm? With cows and everything. Oh, yeah. Black Angus, the goats. I mean, next to my family, I love my goats the best. Oh, <laughs> well, what do you know? We got us a real live farm girl. <laughs> hey, George. George, tell the fellas to get the hay and everything. It's too good to be true. Eight actresses, two hookers, a model, and a real estate sales lady, all in the last year. You may have the first genuine bio since Rhonda, the swimming pool cleaner, in 76. A real farm girl. Now, Katie, hold my hands. Come on, come on, hold my hands. Hold my hands, that's it. Now, lean back. Lean back. Now, meditate on the elemental structure of every hair of your head. Now, dear, we have here your contract. You're going to receive $5,000 for the centerfold. You will be under contract with us for one year. Take your time, Deborah. During which time you will pose nude for no other publication, inclusive of film and video, with the option of accepting certain public relation assignments for the publishing company, for which, oh, Deborah, for which you will be paid a standard rate. Now, sign here, please. 
wonderful things are going to happen to you. I know it. All right, press. She's all yours. Katie, you're in the best of hands. All right, everybody. Clear the set, please. Clear the set, please, everybody. Come on, come on. Let's go. Clear out, clear out, clear out. All right, all right. Now, all you have to do is go in that room over there, take off your clothes, put on the robe that's hanging on the hook behind the door, and we'll get started, okay? Mr. DeCordiva, hmm? I'm scared. No, I mean, I'm really scared. Well, you don't have to be. Katie, let's go, sugar. Hi. Hi. I'm, um, I'm Blaze Adams. You must be, um, Katie McEvers, Miss October Centerfold. That's right. Yeah. Are you a centerfold? Oh, I'm being developed. Uh, I will be a centerfold. See, they're just, they're trying to work me in. I was in the, um, executive product section in the back about four months ago. Wait, I'll show you. See, I was standing here without a stitch, and I'm holding this little tape recorder, and the business type is supposed to be giving dictation. It, it was cute. Okay, let's go, so, darling. It's all silicone. Please, where are my frownies? I don't know what you mean. What is that, frownies? Oh, frownies are these, these little teeny special uh, pieces of tape from Paris. Most people wear them on their face like this, but um, she has to wear them other places. Oh, I'm Holly Hoyt. This is Katie McEvers. Hi. Now where are my frownies? I'm wearing them. Well, bye-bye. Hi. Katie, let's go, sugar. Come on, Katie, let's go. Katie, we have to go, darling. It's... All right, okay, come on, let's go. Over on the seamless. The paper right over here. Come on. The paper right there. And have a seat. Yeah, you know, sit on the paper, sorry. Right. Yeah, you can sit right on the paper. Good, good. Okay, now come out of the robe. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't want to take off the robe? Oh, come, come, Katie. Look. Look, let me tell you something. I have photographed thousands of women, fat ones. Skinny ones, tall ones, short ones, <laughs> all kinds of funny-looking ones, bow-legged ones. <laughs> and I'll tell you something, the ones who make the best models are the ones who say, I'll never do it. Oh, I'll never do it. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth. OK, come on. Let's get to work, all right? Right. OK. Katie, sweetheart, let's go. Time to catalog your skin tones. Well, what are you doing? Huh? But I out. I out, out! It won't happen again. Okay, you wanna come out of the robe now? You wanna take the robe off? Look, uh... Katie, I'm a professional. The moment you said you wanted $5,000, you became a professional also. Capiche? Do you understand? I can't. Okay. I'm not going to be coy with you. <clears throat> I came here to work. If you're not willing to work, you should go home. That's all I have to say. No, I want to work. Help me. Please. Oh, well. Let's get to work then. Oh, my goodness. Look how 
all serious. <laughs> that's better. That's better. Come on, give me a smile. Give me a country smile. <laughs> well, what country is that? Good. Good. Yeah, okay. Just take it off the shoulder. Take the robe off the shoulder. Good. Okay. That's nice. Nice. Tilt the head to the side. Head to the side. A little further. Drop the chin. Nice. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Katie, it's just a job, right? Oh, these are terrific! Wait, stay with the light! Oh. 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 
to be our next month's centerfold. Well, she's gotten herself involved with some Arab prince, and they're... they're getting married. A prince? We're putting you through the presses right now. Hey, guess what, you guys? Guess what? They're running me through the presses right now. Right now. Right now. we've got to work extra hard, okay? There's a very important party being given this evening by Elliot Bender. Elliot Bender? Elliot Bender? Who's Elliot Bender? He owns an island and a conglomerate. Sully Toulouse, the famous athlete. You'll be there. I'll go. I'll go. Miss McEvers, please follow me. City Alden. Of course. Miss Allen, please me. Thank you. Sir, your special guest. Thank you, Peter. Ms. McEvers? Katie? Mr. Bender? Elliot. H Elliot? May I have your attention, please? My friends, I'd like you all to meet our guest of honor this evening. Miss Katie McEvers. Mr. Bender, please, no, I... Relax, I'm... please. Katie is Center Girl Magazine's Miss October. All right, Katie. <laughs> oh, you didn't know you were going to be the uh, guest of honor, huh? Sorry. I apologize for the short notice. Pintoff should have told you. Beautiful. Hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Look, why don't I have Peter show you up to the TV room? I've got some business to take care of. I'll be there shortly. Good friend, um, Katie. We, we work together, and this is my good friend, T.T. Oh, hi. It's a great party, isn't it? <gasps> Did you hear about Holly? Uh, oh, that girl that you stole the frownies from. I borrowed. Well, she's in the hospital. She took all these pills, and then she sticks her head in the oven. No, she did not. Well, you know, once your body starts to go, what else have you got in life? Unless you're a, a man, or unless you're rich, or... Oh, hi! Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. There's this photographer. I have to go see him, and I'll be... Uh, okay. <laughs> She's crazy. How long have you known Blake? Oh, we just met tonight. Oh. Um, we're going for the TV. Try channel 11. What are you doing? What do you think? I like you. You don't even know me. No, but I like you. I've seen your photographs. I've seen everything. I think you're pretty fantastic. And I think the two of us together, fantastic. I don't believe this! Suit yourself.
Where are you going? Home, Hollywood. I was going to Bender's. Can I give you a lift? <laughs> it's you. It's Sally Smart. <laughs> it's really you. You're really real. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, you know, all I wanted was a taxi cab, the kind with the cemetery sign on the back. Bender, those people up there, they're really crazy. You can't walk in Bel Air at night. Why don't you let me drive you home? No way, man. I've had enough. I don't know what Bender did to you in there, but anything that I do, all you have to do is call up the makers of Wild Oats cereal <laughs> and tell them that their number one endorsement has been a naughty boy, and they'll give you a million dollars just to keep quiet. Hey, this is good news. You could be a rich girl. Come on, jump in. Come on. Well, all right. What do you do now that you're retired from sports, Mr. Toulouse? Oh, call me Sully, please. Well, I do endorsements. You know, I don't even know your name. Oh, Katie McEvers. Oh, oh excuse me. You're the circle. <laughs> you mean I'm famous, too. <laughs> well, yes. Bender has a thing for centerfolds. I think you're very beautiful. Can I see you again? Me? Yeah. Kiss you goodnight. We're both famous, I guess so. you made a conquest last night. Sally is a doll, a living doll. Uh, Miss Pintop, just a minute, please. Joshy, come here. Joshy, come here. Come here. What's the matter, baby? Oh, come on. Get in the bed with me. Come here, Joshy. Yeah? Just want to tell you how pleased we are with this item in the trade. Katie McEvers, guest of honor, hosted by Elliot Bender. Now, darling, you could have made the Times About Town column if you hadn't run off. Run off? Miss Pint... I mean, Deborah, did you show Elliot my pictures? Johnny, we're all very good friends. In no way am I Elliot Bender's good friend. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. What's the matter, Joshy? Where's your mommy? Cindy! <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> What's the matter, huh? What's the matter? Come here. What's wrong, huh? Hey, come on. Don't cry, okay? Come on. Josh. Josh. Josh, come on! Josh, don't cry! Cindy! Come on, Josh, don't. Don't mess up Mommy's dress. Come on, don't. There's never rain around here! Hey, hey, look! 
Katie is one farmer's daughter we don't want to joke about. In addition to her most obvious talents, Katie knows how to milk a cow, run a harvester, and deliver a heifer. She's the perfect person to help you take the chill out of the cold Texas air. Next to her family, Katie says she loves her Angora goats the most. I just love to pull on their forelocks, says Katie. Magician. Her tricks aren't up her sleeve. No, I never should have done it. I should have stayed at home. I just feel filthy. Oh, Katie, you're beautiful. Besides that, you got 5,000 bucks. Will you marry me? Hello? Sally, I'm being Georgia company tonight. Yeah. I'm lonely. I'm lonely. Mm-hmm. Well, no sense being lonely. No. Why don't you just wait for my car? Hi, you Katie McEvers? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were Mr. Tallur's. I'm Mr. Tallur's valet. He sent me to pick you up. <laughs> Frank? 
Hi, it's me. Good. Listen, you're not going to believe this, but sitting next to me at this very moment is a cross between Farrah Fawcett and Candace Bergen. Oh, baby, she's as beautiful as a dream. Oh, come on, no way am I interested in her terrible disposition. Well, she needs, she needs an audition. Oh, that'd be great. Well, I'll send her over. Okay, she has an appointment tomorrow with Marsha at 4. So, will you stop it? <laughs> 3 o'clock would be great. Okay, beautiful. Bye. All right. Now, it goes to show you, it's who you know in this town, right? Oh. Now, if you play your cards right, you take the 10000 you made in the center fold and parlay it into $1 million. 10000 They only gave me 5000 Honey, 10000 is standard. That is lesson number and now, for lesson number two. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there any way I can see this? I mean, I, I've been waiting around here for three hours. And I, and I just had these new pictures made. And my, my resume's on the back. I mean, it'll, if you could just tell him that I've been waiting here, and well, I'll, I'll leave my pictures, OK? Sully was right. <laughs> you are gorgeous. Oh. Acted in high school plays only, no doubt. Uh, sit down. Um, no. No? No, but I was on the drill team, and everybody in Ramsburg said that I would be a great star. Ah, uh huh. Well, uh, do you, uh, do you have any acting experience? Um, well, you know, it took a lot of dramatic work to do my centerfold. I mean, most people don't really realize what you have uh, to go through. Here. Why don't you read this, huh? Now, Take a few seconds to study it. Right over here where it's uh, underlined, okay? Take your time. With life still strong in me, I'm going on my last journey, seeing for the last time the bright rays of the sun, unmarried, never having heard my wedding song. Death takes me to the dark river bank to be his bride. Hmm. Thank you. That's really pretty. What is it? Antigone and Antigone. Well, if you uh, have a picture, you can leave it with Jessica in front. And tell uh, Sully I'll see him at Elliot's next week. Don't feel bad. You're very beautiful. There's a million girls wish they looked like you. You know. It takes a lot of training to be an actress. A lot. Honey? Hi. Oh, it didn't go so good, huh? See Katie. See Katie put on her makeup. It's making up for all the bad things she's done. Honey, tomorrow they're going to shoot the Sully Hoon perfume Le Fume. And in the ad, I'm surrounded by all these beautiful girls looking up at me in adoration. You could be one of the girls. On television? Why not, huh? Oh, Sully! Oh, but I don't know. I don't know whether I can do it or not. Don't worry about it, honey. I'm with you. I love you. I was going to go home now, Mr. Toulouse. Oh, OK, that's cool. Oh, wait a minute. Listen, I want to preserve this moment. It's her first TV gig and everything. Grab a picture. Uh. Come on, let's get over here. Well, all right. OK, one more rehearsal. Sully, hold up the product. Hi, girls. This is Sully. The Sully Un Parfum pour la Femme. It's the best, girls. I want you to go out and get it. 
Yes, Ellie. Can we see you for a moment? Sure. Excuse me. Girls, take a ten minute break. Honey, let me talk to you. They don't want you in the ad. Perfume people saw your centerfold and you can't be associated with the product. What? I know, it's some kind of product image. Technically, you're not wholesome. What do you mean I'm not wholesome? Sweetheart, I'm trying to retire in a big way from the money I'm making from this and I just can't blow it. I can't be a coach at Backwater U, otherwise I'd walk right off the set with you. Can we have lunch? Sure. 12.30? All right. Sally, I don't want you to get me any more jobs anymore. Fine. Suit yourself. I'm sorry I don't have any talent. I know you hate me. No, I don't, honey. Yes, you do. Will you stop crying? Ever since I've known you, all you've done is cried and complained about everything. You're the best-looking chick of the decade, and all you do is cry about it. Well, I'm getting a little sick of it. Where are you going? Going to the club. How come? I'm going to play backgammon. Is that all right with you? No! You want me to leave, don't you? You know I'm a little tired of your attitude. All I do is bust my hump for you, and you blow everything. Mr. Tuar said to pick up your bags. Are you ready? Y'all love Hawaii. Oh, I'm not going. I'm going to New York. Yeah, I haven't got a gig. Yeah. I'm going to assist the great Marlowe. He's a genius. He's going to teach me everything. <laughs> what are you talking about? You love each other. Why are you splitting? You want to tell her? A toast to the newlyweds. You mean, you didn't want to be married when you were living together, and now that you don't, you do? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> oh. oh, Katie, Katie. We tried to call you yesterday. I wanted you to stand up for us at the wedding. I guess that, uh, that guy, Dolores, I guess he didn't pass the message on. Well, funny face, <laughs> I'm sure going to miss you. Almost as much as my hog. Oh, Gunther. <laughs> Madeline? What? Where's Cindy? She's got a new boyfriend. Yeah. Madeline, listen. Katie, it's not going to be so bad. I'll come back and see you when I get Gunther's motorcycle on my way to New York. Deal? Okay. Yeah, hello. Dee Pentoff here, darling. I've got wonderful news. Modeling work. Clothes on? Clothes. Go on. Disappear. It's a product ad for one of the seven sisters. Disappear. 
Like in college? Uh, no, one of the liquor companies. It pays $100 a day. There's a lot of prestige attached to this assignment. It's great. Is it possible that I actually detect a note of enthusiasm in your voice? You know, dear, you might want to try to develop a little bit of a up quality. Of course, it all depends on how the meeting goes with Bender. He's contacted me personally. He's very anxious to see you. Bender? He owns the company. Look, Miss Pendoff, you're going to launch me. Uh, I'm trying. But you need to be a bit more cooperative. Capisce? Glad you could make it. Mr. Bender, I just wanted you to know that I think I can do a good job modeling for your whiskey. It's vodka. Bo Cheers. Vodka. Come on down, we'll talk about it. Caviar? What is that? Look, I don't hold a grudge. Young girl comes to town, doesn't know anyone. I can understand why you get upset. Believe me. What I'm drinking? No. I'm a good listener. I've got nothing but sympathy. Mr. Bender, um, I can't dance, and I can't perform, and I can't do any more nude modeling because of my contract with the center girl, and I can't be a high fashion model because I, I don't have the right look for it, and I can't be a commercial model because I did all those nudes, but I can tell you one thing, I know, I know I can do a good job modeling for your vodka, if you just give me a chance. Just give me the chance to prove it. Katie, let me ask you something. Now, I know that you're just a little girl from the forum and everything, but uh, you didn't really think I asked you here just to discuss the contracts, did you? <laughs> Look, Mr. Bender. Sully told me that you had this thing about making it with every centerfold. My dear, I have a thing about making it with any attractive, Young. Now, Sully's the one who has the thing about the centerfolds. Sully? <laughs> He's at eight of the last 13. He's got photographs to prove it. He certainly must be in his collection by now. Oh, no. I don't believe this. Oh, no. <laughs> you are so naive. His valet takes the pictures there on the wall in his den. Valet takes them. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you want the job? You've got it. No strings. Have your agent call my office in the morning. I can go now? Mm-hmm. Free. Like a bird.
Hello, Sally. Oh, and you must be Miss November. What are you doing here? Forgot your keys, buddy. And also, I heard about your famous little art collection. Oh, I'll take this one and this one. They're all so disgusting. Mmm. Bye, Sally. Gosh, it's really empty around here without Madeline and Gunther. Yeah, well, it's gonna be even emptier in about 20 minutes. Guess you get the apartment. Why, where are you going? Malibu. Moving in with Kirby Lund. Not that rock star. Yep. Oh. Handsome, rich, famous. He just loves this little old widow. <laughs> Cindy, where's Josh? Cindy, where's Josh? Cindy? Where's Josh? He's in a foster home. No, he isn't, Cindy. Look, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Cindy, who's got him? A nice doctor and his wife. And they, they really like him, you know, they, they really do. They have a nice, a nice home. And there's, uh, there's three other kids there. You think I'm a monster, right? Well, I could have gotten $15,000 for a white baby boy, but I didn't. I didn't want to sell him, Katie. And I could really use the money, too. Excuse me, the, the landlord said there was a room available. Yeah, well, you can take your pick. They're all available. Oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry to just bar barge in like this, but the door was open. You see, I just graduated from junior college, and, well, I, I only went to college because I promised my parents. What I really want to do is be a model. Everyone always said that I, I'd make a superstar model, and, and, and then I could graduate into the t top acting spots, you know, like Lauren Bacall and Lauren Hutton. And, uh... Miss Pintoff on the phone. Cindy, I don't know, babe. What? 
but she said that you had the Elliot Bender modeling job. Hello, Miss Pintoff? K Katie said to tell you that she left town. But, but listen, listen. M my name is Sally South, and it, it just so happens that I'm a model, too. It's her. It's her! Katie McEvers is back! She's back! Katie McEvers is back! Katie McEvers is It's hard for him, Katie. What with your picture up on every barn door for 20 counties round. Now, what is that? Well, that's just more of my fan club. I have to ask you, Katie. Did you by any chance happen to run into Robert Mitchum? <laughs> He's always been one of my favorites. <laughs> Those sad blue eyes. No, I didn't. And Isabel, there was no talent agent either. See, I just went along with all that so you and Uncle Hank would think that I had prospects. Well, I've always thought you had prospects, honey. Your face, your shape, you could have married a millionaire. But I expected the world to take care of me. And the way I look just closes as many doors as it opened for me. You're so special, honey. For a girl like you. But a lot of girls are trying to do the same thing I did. They just don't think. Because if they stopped and let themselves think, then they'd just turn around and realize that they were being thrown around and bought and sold and soon end up in the backyard in the trash. I just wanted you to have a chance. Oh, I know that. And I can still be a model. I can even be an actress. But I have to go and train for it. I'm not worried about what you're going to make out of yourself, Katie. You're a fine girl. You're kind. 
And you're just learning, that's all. Well, one thing I have learned, I can't any longer be a little Ramsburg girl serving up double scoops at the general store. I just can't. No, that's right. But you can't let those oafs drive you out of this town where you were born and raised. I'm worried you'd carry that around in your mind. They won't drive me out of this town. Look, I'm going to talk to them, and then I'm going to leave. I love Ramsburg, but I can't hide my hurt here. I understand, Katie. is all of the local news. And now the weather. Our Randisburg temperature is 95 degrees, which means it's real, real hot out there today, neighbors, so y'all take care of yourselves. And now, it's time we'll return to some more some fine country music at the home of country music. What do you want from me? I'm Katie Joe. McGavers, remember? I'm a part of y'all. See this? This is an arm. I've got an arm. See this? This is a face. See, I got a face. I've got a face too. A leg. You got a leg, right? You got a leg? So. Madeline, what are you doing here? What's going on? Forget it. Let's get out of here. I'm on my way to New York. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that's one thing you always did have is perfect timing. Yeah, well, it was nothing, really. Has that thing been giving you any trouble lately? No, it got me this far. Hey, Madeline. Hey, Katie. Hey, Madeline. All right, Katie. Hey.
Coming up on True Movies. Two dedicated naval officers find that you must forget the rules and follow your heart as they fight to save an orphan in the middle of the Korean War. Richard Thomas and Eve Gordon star in Narrow Escape. Yeah.